guys, it's Zaki. What's it, how's it going? What's it going? Wow. Um, got another battle here with my good friend Antar1011 from YouTube. Go check him out. His link to his YouTube channel will be down below. Um, this is going to be a two-parter because I didn't feel like editing out all the move selections. That also gives me a little bit more time to talk instead of feeling rushed. And I can't, like speed this up and have good quality and have uh, the uh, can't speed it up and narrate and have good quality and the narration be not super fast yeah so and this will probably be be probably be how all of the other ones go, which I don't mind doing a two-parter. You guys might mind doing a two-parter. There'll be a link down in the lower right, or upper left, or lower left, or upper right, um, link to the next part. Um, yeah. Um, anyway, I lead with Claudia, the Luxray, and A, the, uh, the, uh, um, I'm punching in the air because I can't remember its name because it's got focus punch. It, Zangoose. There we go. Um, it's named A because it's from my pearl or it's from my diamond, and I bred it over there. And then I, when I got my platinum, I moved all my stuff to, or at least most of my stuff to my platinum, and I didn't nickname it. And I have a thing when I'm reading the Pokemon that I. Uh, name letters so I know which one's good and, or which ones I could possibly use or something like that um so yeah that's why he's named A I switch out Claudia cause I feared the earthquake and I'm going to sub cause I figured I'd be faster than, it, than anything but Rotom's going to outspeed me which was a little scary cause most of the time Rotom's don't outspeed Zangoose cause Zangoose is awesome and this match is all about, it was a switch of palooza because I switch, he switches, I switch, he switches, we switch, we both switch, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, and Giraffe Rig is awesome, and I don't care what anybody else says. Giraffe Rig is awesome, because it just took that earthquake like it was nothing. Um, I'm going to substitute again with A. Because I thought if uh, the Rotom, it might have been a speed tie, but if the Rotom was going to do something, it was probably going to attack Giraffe Rig. Excuse me a second. Just had to get a drink. Um, has HP fighting. Um, yeah. Not cool. Not cool, man. Um. And Drafrig's gonna set up a reflect, because that's what Drafrig does. Drafrig has magic coat for Dark Rise mostly, and has reflect to support the team, and. Uh, yeah. And a lot of things had leftovers in this battle. Like, the Rotom had leftovers, I had leftovers, I think this. Thing. Torterra has leftovers, maybe not. I'm gonna switch out Claudia because it's gonna get another Intimidate on the, uh, the uh, logo. On the Torterra, which means, and the Reflex Up, which means the Torterra almost has a switch or the earthquake that it's going to do unless it gets a critical hit and that pierces through both the intimidates and the reflect then yeah that all is done so I feel pretty safe in this situation uh, I'm gonna double crunch the uh, the Rotom Hoping that Drafrig would actually go first, and then Claudia could finish it off. But Claudia was actually faster. Well, you have this, which is going to take the charge beam like it's nothing else. 
Um, had a couple things as charge beam in this battle. Uh, for the other thing. So he switched out Torterra, because he had to switch out Torterra. It wasn't going to do anything. Claudio went first. Crunch. It's going to break the sub. No problem. Um. Uh. Ultimate Chimera. Because Earthbound is awesome. Also does Crunch, which tells me that it's, if it's a bulky Rotom, it's not going to be able to... It's not physically defensive. And that's another reason why Drafrig's awesome, because it just almost pwned... Well, it basically pwned, because nobody sees Drafrig as a giant threat, and it just almost took out Rotom! <sighs> Gonna switch out to Caesar, because Caesar's a uh, slow bro, and I really need Caesar to be a slow king, but I needed a defensive wall, so yeah. Um, I should get a slow king named Caesar. Um, gonna crunch again on Tachikoma, Koma, Tachikoma, Tachi, it's probably Tachikome, but, meh, maybe, I don't know, I'm not the best at Japanese, um, switches out Charizard, which is an odd switch, but with what team he had, I'm assuming that it was probably the best. And Crunch does a hefty chunk to that. Going to take an Earthquake. Well, not going to take an Earthquake, but an Earthquake. Slowbro takes the Earthquake. I switched out because, yeah, there's lots, as I said before, there's lots of switching in this game. And if I didn't say it before and you didn't read the top bar, this is a UU Doubles. Um... So yeah, it's a doubles doubles. I am going to surf, which will make one of them, um, which will force a switch on either both of them or one of them. Um, at least force the switch on Charizard, because um, Charizard cannot take out Caesar, which I I knew it could take an HP Grass, a Focus Blast, or anything from that Charizard. Um, at least one, but it turned out to be a physical Charizard, so it doesn't matter. The Charizard switches out like I thought, um, and sends out Lantern, which is going to take that, uh, take the Surf fairly well. Doesn't take the Zen Headbutt as well. I Surfed because I figured, uh, um, Drafrig would be taken down anyway. Um, I get a Surf on... off, and it takes down Drafrig, and then the Surf gets a critical hit on the um, Steelix, which did matter, but at the time I didn't think it was, because I pumped a fair bit of special attack EVs into uh, Slowbro, so it would be able to take out one Scizor in one shot with its Flamethrower, and two, take stuff like that out, but he said he it was, like, uh, careful, careful-natured, and had a bunch of, uh, special defense EVs, so that did matter. Um, send out Isaac, because he's got both HP ground and HP, or HP ground, be cool if they could have two H or hidden powers, HP ground and Giga Drain. Um, Caesar, I'm a little threatened by, because of the, uh, Thunderbolt and the possible Thunderbolt from either one of them, or some other attack. Um, Isaac, technically I should switch out, but I think it could take at least one um, Psychic if the uh, Gardevoir is a wall Gardevoir. If it's not, the one Psychic is going to destroy me. But I want to take that chance, and I'm going to go with uh, HP ground, because it's a little bit stronger than Giga Drain, which will then be amplified by the expert belt it's holding, and then by the, uh, the, uh, whatchamacallit, which Giga Drain wouldn't have helped me if I did it, because I was at full health. Um, almost takes it out. Lantern's a fairly special wall. 
the takes one Thunderbolt, which was a good play because he knew I was going to switch out. Uh, um, uh, what you call it? Um, Slowbro, and then he charge beams, which tells me it's probably a wall variant of Gardevoir, but it can raise its attack, which I didn't think it raised its attack in that one. And we'll have to wait for the second part now. I'm sorry, that was kind of like, boom. But in the second part, which will be like 10,000 annotations all over the place on this one, will be for the next one.